Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy 8 World and today we're going to take another look at PC versus console and which platform is better for FPS games. A lot of you guys still wonder why I play BF4 on console and not my PC and even though I've answered this specifically in previous videos, I thought I'd take a look at the genre in general. I think the reason people ask me this question is because most guys have a pretty good idea of what their system does well, but they don't consider the benefits of other platforms. The fact is, there's pros and cons for playing FPS on either platform, and which one you ultimately like best is going to depend on the sort of games you like to play. Now, I think when people compare PC to console, usually the argument gets bogged down in a discussion of graphics, which isn't always the most important difference. The fact is, performance doesn't matter if a game isn't available on a platform, or if it's clearly been designed for another platform. CSGO and Insurgency are both good examples of PC exclusive games, and the PC version of Team Fortress 2 is obviously a lot better than the console port. On the other hand, franchises like COD have clearly made console a priority, and the PC versions nearly always get bad reviews. Coming back to graphics though, well, PCs obviously have the power to outperform consoles, but there's been a trend lately of AAA developers nerfing the PC versions. Overall, the visual experience will be better and more consistent on PC, but in some games the difference is becoming less obvious. You can really only compare graphics in the big name multiplats anyway, and like I said before, games like COD have been aimed at a console audience for a long time now. You could say Battlefield and Titanfall are going the same way as well, and also quite a lot of big franchises like Destiny and Halo aren't even releasing on PC at all. Now if AAA games are all you're into, well I doubt you'd be missing out on much anyway if you only owned a console. If you're a fan of shooters that don't follow the standard arcade style format though, well, the consoles don't really have a lot of diversity compared to the massive library of FPS games on Steam. For example, games like Insurgency, Verdun and Armour 3 are all amazing and pretty cheap, but sadly they'll probably never get ported to console. Even if they do get ported, it'll probably take forever anyway like what we've seen with Planetside 2, or they just won't end up being as good. These are more niche games though, with a lot less players than BF4 across all platforms, but CSGO and Team Fortress 2 on the other hand are something else entirely. The reason I mention these games is because the daily online play account for both of these games blows Battlefield and just about everything else out of the water. The reason these games are so popular is because they do what they do well, even if the gameplay and graphics are relatively basic compared to BF4 and COD. And this I think is what people need to take into consideration when it comes to evaluating platforms, because the most important thing is not how good a game looks, but how well it plays. Now, that being said, the three big things that I think make or break an online FPS game are controls, connectivity and player base. I mean, if you take a game like Advanced Warfare for example, it's not hard to see why PC players rate this game a hell of a lot lower than console players do. This game is clearly designed for a controller, and the time to kill and weapon balance is all out of whack as soon as you factor in a mouse and keyboard. Also, if you read the Steam reviews for this game, you can see that a lack of dedicated servers is a big issue for a lot of hardcore PC gamers. A game like BF4 on the other hand is a good example of a game that plays more or less as well on PC or console, even if there are quite a few differences. Sure, the graphics are better on PC, but the core experience is pretty much the same, except for maybe the server performance, which I think is a bit better on console. The big difference comes down to which type of controls you prefer, because even though there are ways to use both on each platform, it's not going to be as balanced. You sort of have to use what everyone else is using if you want to get the authentic experience, and this could be a good reason for you to play on one platform or the other. So coming back to the original question, which platform is better for FPS gaming? Well, I've heard a lot of arguments for and against both platforms over the years, but sadly I think the honest truth is that there isn't really a right answer. PC gaming is great if you're the sort of person who appreciates a better looking game, but on the other hand it's not so good if you prefer to relax on the couch with a controller. Also you can be assured you'll have access to pretty much all the big budget FPS games on console, but on the other hand they'll probably cost you a bit more, and you'll miss out on a ton of indie games. I think what's becoming clear by the way things are going with FPS games though, is that PC isn't the master race anymore, or at least not to the degree it once was. 
I grew up in the late 90s when console shooters flat out sucked, and back then, except for maybe GoldenEye 64, all the good FPS games were on PC. I'm sure some people are still going to argue that PC is the ultimate FPS experience, but as someone who plays on both, I can honestly say that both have their pros and cons. Not everyone can afford more than one platform though, so for new players and veterans, hopefully this video gives you guys something to think about. But anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see more of my videos, or if you'd like to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later, and have a good one.